Mally Schuster, 2-0 against Josh Dimas. Uh, Scramble City. Uh, first off, are you drawing any power from the mustache? I think I'm drawing all my power from the mustache. I really think I am. It's, it's just it's, it's my whole attitude this year. I always try to figure this stuff out when I was a freshman. You just go out and you just wrestle. I'm having more fun competing this year than I think I have the whole time I've been in college. I think this goes along with it. I've been wearing a mullet, I dyed my hair red, I got a mustache, and I just don't care. Like, I'm enjoying the living hell out of this. And I'm not about to stop. This is so much more fun than, you know, putting all this pressure on yourself. You gotta do this, you gotta do that. And I'm just going out there making it happen. Smile on my face every day. And, I mean, it's, it's a new plan, it's a new me, and I love it. Two matches in a row where you're the underdog coming in. You know, you did have a win against Dean Massaretti, but uh, how to shell uh, Missouri. He's a top 20 guy. Dean Mass a top 20 guy. Two top 20 wins in a row for you. What's that do for your confidence? Uh, it's through the roof. Through the roof. I mean, just, I mean, to me, it just proves that this whole new attitude's working. I mean, I'm going out there. I'm, I'm free. I'm loose. I'm using my stuff. I'm, I'm relying on what I'm good on. I mean, you know, I'm getting better at the things where I was weak. And, you know, I mean, it's just it's a lot of confidence. I mean, it helps me believe in what I'm doing. I have to believe in what we're doing as a team. And you know, I'm expecting bigger and bigger things out of myself every week that goes by. When you guys uh, you guys took it on the chin as a team on Friday, you know, what did that do from now you're you're up three two right now in Ohio State, you know, obviously we're we're mid we're at halftime here, but what'd that do for, for you guys on Friday, that loss? I mean I think I think it just really kinda forced us to refocus. I mean, it forced guys to, you know, kind of rethink where we're at, you know, think about our capabilities as a team and realize that we're capable of more. That match wasn't that match wasn't really, you know, as solid as we could have been from 25 all the way up through. And, you know, I think that now, you know, we're, uh, you know, I think we, we know now how we have to think. We know how we have to change our mindset. And, you know, I think, you know, hopefully hopefully we won't forget stuff like that. You know, keep it keep it fresh in our minds so that, you know, the next time we have a really, you know, a really, really tough underdog situation like that, we can kind of pull together and at least, at least hang with guys that we're capable of hanging with. Because I think we were a lot better team than we showed against Missouri, and I think everybody realized that. Uh, I mean, I even, I even felt like my match, I, I could have done a little bit better, but, you know, you, you, know, you always got to stay hungry. I think, I think as individuals, I think a lot of us do a good job staying hungry. I think staying hungry as a unit, as a collective team, is, uh, is the big lesson we had to carry away from Friday. Right, you got anything else for me, Ellie? She's waiting for me. You got anything else for me? For you? Yeah. I don't know. I, uh, <laughs> you're the man's that, Millie. I don't know. I love you to death. Everybody back in Newville, Pennsylvania, I'm doing it for Big Spring High School. I'm doing it for Williams Grove Speedway. Dad and Boy Racing 6949 coming elbows up in 2012.